Hey, what's good, everybody? Happy New Year to Bor Arl Knuckles, aka the Entertainment Fans. Been some time since I've done a video recording, and you know, well, audio recording technically, and I just want to apologize for not giving you enough videos. I mean, thing is, I've, I've been slacking, man. I've been slacking, and no, I'm not giving any excuses as to why I didn't do it. I just felt like didn't do it, and you know, I just can't have that mindset as, you know, I'm done with school, getting into the real world life, and you know, it's a new year, so, you know, no excuses, I can't slack off, so, what a great way to start the new year by talking about, you know, the first episode of The Challenge, Vendettas, and last time you heard from me about MTV was probably towards the end of the Challenge Dirty 30, and that was a great season, as you know, Jordan and Camille won, I was happy for Jordan, I was cheering for Derek, but for the guys, I was happy for whatever, the girls, I want to call Maria to win, but Camilla won, and I was upset with that, because, you know, after she did the whole Leroy thing, and not only that, what happened at Chance for First to Start, how she hit a TV producer or whatever, you know, I feel so we're not going to see her in a challenge for quite some time, because she needs to work on herself, she needs to get things together right now, so, it's, it's, she, she, she has, she has a road to recovery right now, so, you know, like I said, I love respect for her, but, Maybe she can change things. Who knows? But I saw my speculations on her. Now, <laughs> excuse me. Coming into the season, you know, Dirty Thirty Dirty Thirty was a great season. I thought it was a heck of a lot better than Invasion of Champions. So, and then you know, Chance to Star is a little of a spinoff cross. We don't really count that. Now here are Vendetta. And it's crazy how I said this before. When we get these challenges. It's normally a challenge in a real world season, then another challenge. It takes some time, but you look at it since going back to actually last year in February. We had a vision of champions. And right after that, in I believe it was in excuse me, in, yeah, it was April, we had we had the chance versus pros. Then if like maybe I guess two months after we had the thirty third. Yeah, thirty thirty started in towards the end of July. And that was a long, long season. I think that might have been the longest challenge season ever, which I love. That ended in that ended like in November. Now here we are. We have Chance of the Stars. A little nice spinoff. And now here we are. Hey, heck, Chance of the Stars only has one more episode left, and we already started the Vendetta season. And you know, here we are. Like it's they're getting faster doing these doing these challenges. Which hey, you know, I'm all for man. I don't I don't feel like waiting like almost half a year for another for another challenges so, you know they got done pretty fast so so we start with the, with the challenge with des or you know i believe it takes play, takes um part in spain and we have a whole lot of newcomers you know they all met tj you know i'm saying man it's we all meet i'm happy for these new people getting their opportunities and stuff like that but it's like yeah man like we're it's like we're losing more of the old school people because People don't come. People don't come on the out challenges for the real world anymore. It's come. First of all, I'm sorry, but like I've never been a fan of the Are You the One. It's like what Jordan and Johnny says. Hey, I came to the challenge to be on from Are You the One. Like you know, be all the. I guess you know the being all pretty. It's um. It's like Johnny has a point. Like you look at the Are You the One. These people are attractive people, and not. not I'm not calling the real world people ugly. It's like you know. It's almost like you almost have to be pretty to be on the shows. You know what I mean? It, it's it's weird. Like, like I said, I'm happy for them to get the opportunity, but it's just I guess for me, as an old school guy, I just been seeing you know, from the real world and the road world. Road rules is already done, but it's always been like the the real world and the real world and road rules. But you know, it's always you know they always get these people out of nowhere. I mean, you have like I said, you had I think honestly, I'm starting to think. Um, I mean, I think for I can't remember from free ages. I don't, I don't know the new people were from the real world or not. I can't really tell. But if you look at the challenge, you will say bloodlines, right? Bloodlines, I guess was the no, 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 no. It was at, um, Battle of the X's two is when they started giving another show, like you know, their, what's the one when they started doing from Ari to One People, and then you know, bloodlines they had. 
their cousins or brother, then they start being on the show from there, and then you now you now you have exes on the beach or whatever UK like I don't I don't know any of these shows Big Brother from another network it's like oh my god like we're losing it's like for me we're losing our people right now man we're, we're losing everybody it's just so it's crazy I mean I mean the hey man it's the new breed is coming right now man everybody's dying now now what I mean by that I tell it me by you know the real world, is, the real world is like pretty much dying. You know what I mean? Like the real world is dying. It's like basically it's from are you the one people from other people from this show? It, it's crazy. So you know, I really thought what's so interesting is that you know TJ says, hey, you know, everybody here, you know, you have some type of vendetta against somebody. So now, you know, it's crazy. We're finally gonna get a show. Where, you know, it's time to get even. It's all about getting even. So I kind of like that. And what they don't know. That we already know is that this time it's only it's only gonna be one winner. I feel so maybe that because you, you look at it, the vendettas it's some of somebody against a guy and against a girl. So I guess that kind of makes sense as to why you know it's gonna be one winner because if it was a vendetta against guys and, and girl guys against guys, girls against girls, then I feel so there'd be maybe two wins. But now I see how you know it's it can be a boy and a girl. You know. It's, I guess it's only a matter of time, but how is the final challenge going to do? Is it going to be fair for a guy and a girl? I mean, I always believe a guy and a girl should be equal, but I mean, when it comes to your body and stuff like that, you know, there's some things, you know, a guy can last longer than a girl. So we'll just have to see. So now some of these vendettas, I don't know, like, I know some of them, but I don't know all of them. So I'm looking at through my phone right here. Alicia Wright. Now, okay, her vendetta was... Was that okay? She met. She was on for Marita one. She met with this guy named Eddie, who's on this show as well. And then you know, she was with this girl named Cam. Now they're apparently they're all best friends, but I don't know. Eddie hooked up with both of them or whatever. I feel was, yeah. And, like I think Alicia and Eddie were together. Then Eddie went on with Cam, and then Alicia was mad at Cam or whatever. I don't. It's some. It's like a pretty much a triangle. So she has a that They have a bit. Alicia and Cam have been I guess, each other, and then, you know, I guess the guy's in the middle of it, so, whatever. Brad, apparently, he had a vendetta against Tony on social media because Brad is friends with Carl Maria, and Tony and, and Carl were going out on social media, and I guess Brad didn't like how, you know, she, Brad didn't like how Tony was talking to Carl, so I guess that's where Tony has his vendetta against, too. Brittany, I... I think her vendetta is against Kayla, but we don't really know why she's not she doesn't she's not a fan of Kayla. I feel well we look at actually the thirty thirty, Kayla not Kayla. Brittany and Hunter were cool and she, I guess, you know, Brittany was just having her boys back. Cause you know, Hunter didn't like how Kayla hurt him and then you know Brittany's having her boy back, so I guess that's why. Car she has her her vendetta is against Kayla. I mean that's that's a no surprise. Now I just don't like how. No, I get it. I'm I'm almost, I'm a fan of Kara. I'm, that's I love Kara. I mean, yeah, Kara and Kayla are in the alliance, but you know, at times you know that that happens. You know, people are gonna this some at some point the alliance is going to break. The alliance is going to break. So I mean, Kayla did what she had to do, and I get why Kara would be mad at it, but you know, stuff like that happens. Now I still feel as though. Kayla needs to prove herself more because she really hasn't done like she's did well in Dirty Thirty, but I feel as though what really what really stops stops me from like saying she's real real good is because that one challenge, the one last challenge, to get to the final, her agenda couldn't even move. C- Camilla just destroyed that. So the jury is still, is still out on Kayla. Can you make it to the final? Can you push over the hump? That's the question that we all gonna have. Corey, his vendetta is against Johnny, as as you know, because Corey made that hit list. Now here's the thing. I like Corey. I watch it from saw him from Real World Explosion. I don't know if Explosion or Skeletons is when they have their exes come back. I always like Corey from that. But when he did that hit list, I'm like, oh Corey, that wasn't a smart thing. But now he's learned from that. Now I I respect what he wants to do. He wants to go after the best, but Go after secretly. Don't do it out in the open. Because for the first time, 
I I pretty much cheered against Corey. I like Corey, but in that I'm like, nah, man. I, I, I you know what you're doing is no. I don't like that. Now that Devin has a van against Corey and Johnny. Now Devin has a has a thing for Corey because he's Corey sent him home. Now here's the thing with Devin. Devin did get big. He did get in shape. But here's my thing with Devin. To say that he said Corey's not that good. Corey's got lucky now. I think Corey is good, but just when it comes to the finals, he just doesn't perform well enough. And for Devin to say that he got lucky, I'm going to say this right now. Devin, my man, when it comes to the, I mean, maybe, maybe it might be different this time, but the two challenges that you were previously, no, the one challenge, right? Uh, Rivals 3. All right, Devin. So you got home, you were the first one to get sent home, right? Then TJ brings you back. That's that's pure luck right there. TJ rarely, rarely brings people back, right? And then, if you did every challenge, you you lost a whole bunch of challenges, and you were sent in elimination like how many times? But you got out of elimination because you picked a white school. You picked a white school. You picked a white school. Like luck, Devin. I'm sorry, bro, but luck was definitely on your side in rival in rival three. You come in dirty thirty. You didn't. You didn't do squat. You were the first. You left on the first episode, and that and that that redemption. You didn't do squat in that. So I don't know what his deal is. Like talking. Like I feel as though Devin talks a lot. Like I get. He. I feel like he's definitely a smart guy, but he is. He hasn't. He hasn't really done anything. Like I'm. I'm already predicting he. Like if he made it to the final on his own, that'd be great. Cause now it's no team. So what is Devin going to do? I don't know, but we'll see. But like I said, I'm just now. Let me just say this aside. I don't know these these challenge people like outside the challenge world. I don't know them how they are personally. They probably are good people, but like when it comes to the challenge, like but I'm sorry, Devin, but like you, you yeah, you have to do. You haven't really done much, man. Like it seems to me, as he he seems like he's the best, but I don't see him winning. I don't. I don't even see making it to the final. That's just me. There's just people that you see. Okay, I don't see that guy making it to the final. Maybe, we'll, but we'll see. Maybe my surprises. We'll see. Jimmy, I don't know who Herbert Dan is in this show. I really don't know. I really don't know. I'm trying. I don't know. Y'all, y'all, y'all got um, y'all got to explain to me in the comments. I really don't know. Don't know. I mean, Johnny, his Dan is pretty much against all the guys. Cause everyone's threatened by him now. I hope, man. I hope. I'm, I like. I'm a fan of Johnny. I hope that this is the chance where you know he wins, cause you know it's what Jimmy says. Ever since he screwed over, I don't, I'm not okay, I'm not correct. Ever since you know he took the money from Sarah, he hasn't made it to a final ever again. So you know maybe he is cursed. I don't know. All right, Joss. Apparently he is with. Um. Okay, so he was apparently he was with Kayla. He, he, I think he hooked up with Kayla and Melissa, and they didn't like that, and so, you know, I don't know, I, don't know, I guess he can't call, he was, he was going out with one of them, and, you know, he, I forgot, like, see, when it comes to this whole, this triangle thing, like, oh, like, see, this vendetta, man, it's like, when it comes to people cheating on each other another per person, it's like, I feel like these people just met, and they already hate this person, like, if this, if you know this person for a long time and they did this to you, I can see why it's a vendetta. But this thing is like, oh, he cheated. He was the one girl. It's like it's just so dumb. Like it's, it, it, it's oh my god. It's like some middle school, high school type of stuff. All right, to talk about Kayla. We're talking about Cam, Kayla. We're talking Kyle. Wait, Kyle had his beef with with Rogan, I don't know what the deal is between these, between those two, I wasn't, there, I, I, I can't, like, okay, I'm gonna like it, like, some of these times, I kind of lost interest as to why they had Vendetta against each other, it just didn't seem like some, it didn't seem like, oh my, like, oh my god, that's so, so such a real Vendetta, I'm like, eh, whatever, <laughs> so, you know, I was like, yeah, whatever, Leroy has a Vendetta against pretty much Veronica and Brittany, because Brittany, sent him into elimination and I was blindsided and so with Veronica. So he has two bananas. Marie, I don't know who 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 is. She 
she honestly like what I saw at the re at the reunion of Dirty Third, she was just that anno that one annoying person in the background. Like it seems to me that she's trying to fight for Kayla's battles. I think Kayla's fine on her own right there. Like I don't know, man. Marie just she, she just seems to be that annoying that annoying fly on her own, that annoying fly in the room that just wouldn't be quiet at the reunion. I just don't know what her deal is. Melissa Reeves already talked about her. Natalie, so apparently, okay, so apparently Natalie and what's this guy's name? Uh, Victor. Now betray Victor and Big Brother. Yeah, we got Big Brother. No, no, CBS, I believe, right? Correct me if I'm, if I'm wrong. But they have a vendetta against each other. She betrayed him, and he learned from that. So he's gonna take down the challenge. He's gonna take that consideration into the challenge and learn from that. Nelson and Shane had an issue back in, back in uh, the House of Invasions. And Nicole, I don't know who her vendetta was. I mean, there's no, there's nothing to to say, not a lot to say about Nicole. As as we get to later, Nicole, her and uh, so uh, God, I forgot how to pronounce her name. Sylvia, I mean, her dosed Sylvia, Tony, and Nicole came into House Invasion of Ch Invasion of Champions. You know, they were. They were in the world we're together. They had a bomb, but you know, Sylvia betrayed Nicole and Tony. I mean, that part I, I kind of do have an issue because they're on the world we're together. They had a great bond, apparently, from what I heard. And you know, she betrayed them. And honestly, she, I think I think she would have been fine if she stuck with if she stuck with that side. I believe because I, I think she would have been fine because she would have had a stronger alliance. But you know. I wish she played a scare game. Uh, I mean, we'll see how if she makes it far or not. We'll see. But Nicole, she had like definitely had a great rookie performance in 3030. You definitely saw something special for her. I think we're really gonna see a really some of her game in this game, I feel as though. Uh Tony, I guess it's him and also him and Nelson. Now Nelson is it's not just Nelson and Shane, it's Nelson and Tony. And Nelson does think that Tony's a good strong competitor, and I don't think Tony's a strong competitor as well either. I mean, 30-30, definitely there was some luck into this. Definitely had some luck into this game. Now, granted, Tony did beat people in elimination, so I gotta give him that credit, but, like, I think the jury is still out on him, because, like, when it comes to the... When it came to the actual challenges, he really did do all that well. He only won the, uh... The, the guessing, like, the, the, the trivia game. Other than that, he didn't really do all that much. I mean, he won eliminations to stay in the game, so that's good. But, you know, he just didn't do all that much to be like, oh, wow, great competitor. Veronica, I mean, I think she still have to prove to people that, you know, she's, although she's an OG, she can still perform. She's still fine as hell, though. Let's just say that. Like I said, she has a vendetta against Car Maria. And I'm pretty sure she knows that, uh, that, that Lyra has a vendetta against her as well. I didn't even know that Veronica and Carmen even had a vendetta against each other. I mean, that I, that surprised the heck out of me. So we'll see. Zach, I don't know who his vendetta is against. We didn't really hear anything from that. So we'll just have to see. So now that we went to for everybody. So the first challenge was that it was a two night thing. Pretty much a race across the top of the hill. And TJ just, just flat out said, if you are the last guy and last girl, you are out. And yo, this dude, the new guy, Joss, yo, he killed it in this challenge, man. He really, really killed it. Now, these first challenges, it's how, you, like, you said, you definitely said a good, a good example, good pace to everybody, but like, hey, you know, I'm not messing around. So, Josh, you know, already, he had $25,000 in his bank account already, so, First guy and first girl, they both get a uh, twenty-five thousand dollars. He killed it in that. Now Johnny, he finished in like fit in the middle. People were saying, "Dang, you know Johnny's lost it." But you know, it's the first challenge. We'll see what happens because you see people, you still people, you still you still see a lot of people probably screw up in the first challenge and they come back and they kill it later in the challenge. You know, it's a it's a good. It's good. It's good to set the tone in the first challenge. But Nicole was also the first girl. Like, there's, like I said, there's some people that you look at. They're like, okay, that person definitely watch out for. And like Nicole, definitely watch out for Nicole. Like she's, she's, she's an all-time beast. But one of the new people, one of the new people, I believe her, Natalie. 
She, w I think she was the second girl too. So we gotta watch out for Natalie and Carl Maria and Kale didn't look that they didn't look that good in this challenge, but I'm sure they will be fine. They will sure be fine. I feel as though the one hard part of this challenge was the fact that they had to stand in this circle with just holding this thing for six hours. Shoot, I don't know if I'd be able to hold hold that for six hours. That was that's just oh my god. Now uh, during this challenge we saw Nicole Ramos. She was last place and I'm like, yeah, I don't I don't see her making it. Especially the fact that when she had the she was the last person out at that uh the midpoint thing, like you already could tell that she's not gonna make it. Like, no. I like Nicole, very nice person, but I just don't see her. It's one of those talk comparators. If she had a partner, maybe things would be a lot better. But I just did not see it at all from her. And then this 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 Rogan dude, he looked like okay, all these England dudes are all Jack and stuff, and he looked like he might, I mean, looks can, looks are very deceiving, it's not about, it's not about, you know, strain and all that stuff, but he, he couldn't make it, apparently his back went out, so he just, car, car I'm not saying, Nicole and Rowan were the last two, and they just didn't make it, so, the show must go on, so then, you know, this very first episode, we just pretty much see hookups, we just see a bunch of hookups. We see a hookup with uh, Alicia and and Corey. Well, they were talking. I don't know if they actually hook up. I have to watch the episode again. Carl Maria and Marie. Carl Maria and Marie had an interest in Kyle, and Kyle hooks up with Marie. And but Kyle's like, I really want to go with Carl Maria. And I'm like, dude, why didn't she want to go with Carl Maria and Marie anyway? Then we see who else? Oh my God, Brad and Brittany are cuddle up, but. If you follow Brittany on Instagram, her and Brad are are official or dating. So you know, I that seemed to be really really fast with seeing it too. It's pretty funny looking at it, honestly. And who who else? Uh, I think that's about it. I think those are just the hookups. I mean, not all that much. I mean, and, oh yeah, Johnny was 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 flirting with Natalie. And if I'm Natalie, you know, you definitely put your guard up. But if you have one of the strongest guys on your side that can really be be big for you it really, really could be big she so she might have to look into that into consideration and also in the house we see how marie is going to uh all the new girls like hey don't trust cara don't trust car and here's my thing i don't even think car even like car even like notices marie it's like who are you again? Like, what's Marie have with Kara? I think because since Kara, I think I think Marie just went into the business between her and Kayla because it doesn't really concern Marie. And here's the thing, I'm surprised she's bad because she was like, oh, last time you saw me, you know, I couldn't uh, I couldn't eat the rat or whatever. I made it halfway. Not really. I mean, I don't think you did. You really make it halfway? I mean, nah. Well, you quit. Well, Marie's a quitter, which I'm surprised she's even back. And last time at the reunion, like she always said, she wouldn't shut up. And she even says, I don't care about winning a challenge or whatever. And I'm like, yo, if you don't care about winning a challenge, then why are you here? You know what I mean? I mean, I don't see Marie lasting long in this at all. Like, okay, for the guys, my, okay, I like, see, I'm like, I'm an old school guy, so I'm, I'm happy to see Brad back. Oh, yeah, Brad and uh, Tori got divorced, obviously, because, you know, you see Brad hanging out with Brittany. But uh, you you have uh, Brad, Johnny, and Zach. You got the old school guys right there. Those are, like, my favorites to make it far. And then Corey, you know, Corey's a good comparator. He just has to play this game smart, and he's always hooking up with another, another girl, so he needs to be careful with that, too. Who else? Nelson, despite his attitude, like he's a good competitor. He really is. We've seen that. But he just needs to, you know, he just needs to keep his mouth in check. And he definitely needs to uh, keep his tricking, tricking in control. But overall, I mean, it was a it was a very decent episode. I mean, I think what we really look forward to is seeing like what can these new these new kids bring to the table. And here's the oh yeah, I gotta talk about the girls. Girls, um, my favorites are. Nicole, Nicole, 
Zamos, yeah. Uh, now, now, in the other Cole, Nicole Zamos, I feel so, she's my favorite. Zamos, not Zamos. Uh, Sanetta. Nicole, Kara, and Kayla are my favorites. From from these new girls, still, I'm definitely keeping my eye out on Natalie, because I said that first challenge, you know, she showed something, so we shall see. Because here's the thing. We don't know how this game works. We see the liberation room. We see we see like these clues. But we really don't know what's going on. So which is good. So we just got we pretty much got an appetizer. And then and now they also showed you know at the at the end of every ep first episode of the challenge we see like what's to come and the challenge. I think the biggest hot air was talking about you know we saw we saw we saw Tori Laurel. Jordan Durrell in black just coming out of nowhere. And I feel as though they're just it's just that one time. I don't think they're I don't think they're coming into the game. We've seen it happen with a whole with a whole lot of guys. I don't think they're coming into the game just to play. They're just coming into, you know, just to, you know, do what they gotta do for I guess it might be an elimination round. It looks like it seems like it's an elimination round. And what I was gonna say, uh da, 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 da. oh man, I just forgot what I was gonna say. Dang it. Oh my God! Brain far, brain far. Right, calm down, calm down. Yeah, they're not like I said. So they're not gonna come back because we seen it happen before. And Jordan did say he is done with challenges. I mean, after went on a bunch of money, yeah, I've been done with challenges too. So yeah, so all these. Tori said the same thing too. And I think that was after Chance versus Stars. Excuse me, I think it was after Chance versus Stars. So I think they're they're done. Darrell, Darrell. We'll see. I would like to see him again and maybe make it to the final. Laurel, I don't see Laurel coming back. I don't see her being done with with these challenges. How I wish it was. I wish it would have been in Dirty Thirty. There would have been so many people I would have wished to see in Dirty Thirty. So, I mean, I think, like I said, I I think Vidal is gonna be a really good season. Like I was say, I'm saying to myself, mm, I don't know if it's gonna be just as good as Dirty Thirty, but. I think it. I think it might be. I mean, like I said, we don't know how the setup is. It's only one winner, so that that's a huge game changer. I think it's five hundred thousand dollars right there. I believe so. Correct me if I'm wrong. I believe it's five hundred thousand dollars. So I can't wait. We shall see what it is. I mean, like I said, we just learned about what who the people are. Their vendettas. Like I said, I don't know who exactly the vendetta is. I don't, they didn't really show everybody's vendetta. They really did show that. So we'll see, but I think the best is yet to come. I feel as though when Chance vs. Stars is over, we'll get into Vendettas. We'll get it. We'll think Vendettas will come on at at ten. I would hope it come on at ten because most of the time, if I work on Tuesday nights, I work I work till ten. So if it's until ten, I can at least watch at least the. Uh, I can like at least I'll probably miss the first couple of minutes of it and just you know fast forward and get to the. To get to the present time with it. So, let me know what you guys think about the comment section below. You know, it's a new year. You just gotta you know. Yes, can't be. You can't be BSing. Can't be slacking around. You know, I definitely slept around, but you know, I can't do that now. I mean, I might be getting a new job pretty soon. I have a job interview this coming Friday, so you know, it'll definitely be a step a step up in the right direction. But I finally got my camera, but you know, right now I just want to record my voice right now until I get everything set up so we shall see so you know it's your boy Aaron Knuckles signing off fan oh yeah we'll see what happens with my Eagles in the playoffs but I'm gonna say right right now my Eagles I said losing the first round because I am just I am not like what I've been seeing from Nick Foles these past couple of weeks it's pretty pretty bad but we shall see everybody have a good day and I'll see you guys next week take care